a video where today we're hopping into Pathfinder Kingmaker Definitive Edition, which is now available on Xbox One and PS4. Link at the top of the description. Make sure that y'all go ahead and check it out and even cop it for yourselves because we're about to get ourselves into a ton of fun. Because in Pathfinder Kingmaker, you're actually tasked with managing your own kingdom with an abundance of events and decisions to make, not to mention going out on looting, rooting, tooting adventures and going on crazy adventures to knock out some quests and get some loot all with your own party which is actually this group of people that we're going to be going out and adventuring with they can also get to know like for example i'm over here at a trading outpost right now because i am definitely due to get some trades done so over here we have jaithal who actually has been helping us through some of our adventures so far because we're actually in the midst of taking down a bandit king and actually claiming our own lands which is so freaking exciting and she's been a pretty big help and literally we're at a trading outpost right now so you can literally get to know and chat with some of your characters and kind of learn a little bit about their backstory which is and i don't know it's just really cool to kind of get to know the whole backstory between the band of characters that you have managed to, to assemble and speaking of assemble we've gotten a lot of loot so far i really need to go and sell some so i'm gonna go over here to oleg show me your wares mr oleg over here on the right hand side of the screen i have 900 pounds of loot i have been a I've, yeah i gotta sell some stuff dog and luckily they actually have this whole like bulk selling thing so i can uh pretty easily just like put in a bunch of things and literally automatically just bulk sell a ton of stuff like that which is freaking hype like look at that we've just cleared out so much weight out of our inventory we are due to get like three thousand flipping coins over there but i kind of want to strike a deal with this fella i am definitely going to be taking some of these camping supplies and rations which actually help you kind of like heal up and rest your party while you are out and about on your adventures so definitely going to be wanting to cop those and then he does have some weapons for sale as well any good weapons anything that might help me upgrade what i am currently rocking Ooh, some cool ring of protection that's a nice heavy shield that's some really good armor there i'm a little bit tempted by this armor oh i think that's better than our armor yeah we'll, we'll cop a little bit of that over there i think we got some various ingredients and whatnot and ooh, oh mama and we're getting to the really expensive stuff now like some freaking flaming crossbows and whatnot so i might uh i, I might need to take a pass on these for now because i cannot afford these too well actually mm, this falchion is kind of cool but nah we'll just go ahead and i think we'll roll with that so let's go ahead and actually confirm that and we're good to go so with this deal struck y'all can see we got over here at the bottom like over by my little like cursor kind of right below that like three thousand gold ready to go which is definitely hype uh, i think this fella bulkin also does have some stuff uh, for sale do you got anything good oh yeah dude potions i've been getting into quite a lot of tussles i i'll buy like freaking 20 potions bro those are so helpful for uh not dying I'm definitely a fan of that and we also just like literally as soon as i walked back into this outpost from the last adventure that i was on we did actually pick up a new quest it's a little bit of a side quest it's actually to go and kill some kind of a crazy boar that's terrorizing the local lands we are in the middle of a more main quest which is actually over here like i was talking about set off and take down that bandit camp and that's gonna literally turn me into a baron where i can rule over my own lands so that i really really do want to get done too but without further ado let's go and grab our group of companions and uh, say hello to the overworld map so here y'all actually have a look at that overworld map that i was talking about here we were chilling at oleg's trading post i just went through some crazy adventure over here in this like old sycamore and we can actually see various kind of objectives that the game does want us to go to like for example here we have the tusk gutters lair which is that boar that they want me to take down and over here is actually that bandit camp that i was talking about so it's kind of on the way to the boar so i might take a little bit of a detour here and y'all can actually see the way that the map exploration system works as you can kind of explore entirely new areas like this and oh we've come across an encounter we can try to avoid it and uh we did it well 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 let's go ahead and evade that and we can Boop, slide right past those fellers as we continue making our exploration oh what is this what is this bogard hunting grounds we've never seen this location before uh all right we'll pay a little bit of a pit stop and 
see what this is all about and we have arrived and y'all can actually see us kind of gathering around we actually do have this little like formation oh and we got some nasty things up ahead but we have this little formation set up you can actually change the type of formation that you do have your group in depending on you know the tactics you do want to employ when you do engage in the battle and battle is freaking crazy by the way so there's actually two unique ways to battle one way is in real time where if we just go ahead you can actually just like pause and unpause and your characters will kind of engage in combat on their own you can't also pause at any point and for example let's say if i want my fella me of course over here to use some kind of a special ability here we have like a charge ability smite evil ability fighting defensively power attack and various things like that you can also switch in between characters and this is all paused so you do have a chance to kind of think and be like okay okay what do i want to do you can also like just add in completely new abilities to your little like hot bar over there and various things like that but what i'm gonna go over to do is actually go to jthal who i was talking up a little bit earlier right and to show off sorry about the burp there some of the crazy powers she has so for example right here we have her inflict light wounds attack which she can actually utilize four times that's what that number four is before she has to get some rest and i'll show off that whole resting system here in a second but yeah pretty much you guys see a little bit of the information about this attack so we're gonna go and utilize that on the bogart there so that's now queued up they are continuing to do their own thing but on top of that we have queued up a specific attack for her and boom she put that thing to work and with that combat is over oh you know me we gotta loot up everything we can get off these fellers over here and with loot not only do you have to sell it but you can also head over to our equipment tab over here this is for jthal so you can actually customize the equipment of everybody i'm gonna go back to me though because i got that freaking full plate armor bro that is definitely better than the banded mail i was rocking before so that is freaking sick you can also see that you can choose all the different weapons you use you can literally have different weapon loadouts as well you can actually switch between that in the middle of combat i'll actually show that off we can actually do that right now we can do it in the middle of combat if i press triangle you can see we're scrolling through that bar at the bottom you can actually go all the way to the right and switch in between configurations so i now actually have my two-handed weapon ready to go and let's go and start battling wait Billy Mays here. Why don't we show off the second way of combat? If you click on a right stick, boop, you can actually see that we have now engaged in this turn mode version of combat. We can actually choose, for example, where you want your character to move. So I'll go ahead and actually, what I can do with, um, what do I want to do with her? We'll go ahead and move her a little bit this way. You can actually take a little bit more of a strategic approach. So maybe if you have a really tough battle and you want to take things turn by turn, you can do it that way. Or you can literally switch in, but and you can switch in between these two waves of combat whenever you want. So let's go back over to the turn base, and we can now see that it is Harim's turn to put in some work. So, anyways, back to Harim, we can go through some of his abilities that he does have here. And a lot of these different characters do have entirely different classes. Some specialize as support characters that can kind of like heal the others. Some are like ranged, like kind of our friendly little uh who's that Lindsay? And chilling back there who is equipped with a crossbow and it's just so cool just the amount of customization so many different approaches and of course the story that we're in the middle of unfolding but anyways back to twice i was saying why don't we go hmm he does have a lot of abilities here why don't we utilize this destructive smite ability over there actually and why don't we queue it up on the bogger and you can see he oh big hit baby he goes and does his move. So now I'm happy with how that went. I can go ahead, hold circle, and actually end the turn right there. And we are now on to Valerie. So why don't we have her go and strike the bogger there? Boom, big hit. He's still alive, though. And then, oh, it's my turn, baby. I've been looking forward to this. And then I'll decide, why don't we go and actually attack the bogger that is a little bit behind. And then next up, you can see over on the left side of the screen is Lindsay. It's now her turn. And this, she has a pretty cool ability over here. Check this out. She can actually heal. She does have the ability over here for, like, the cure light wounds. And I might need to heal someone after this battle. But what I'm going to go ahead and do here is actually use this Daze ability. And boom! That enemy just got dazed, boy. So we got that to look forward to. So now when we end Lindsay's turn, the Boggard literally his turn got skipped due to that that we just did. So this whole kind of ability to switch in between combat methods, it lets you approach things in varying ways depending on how you like it. But for the most part, if it's like a pretty simple encounter, I definitely do like doing like the pause and unpause just because we're able to put in some really 
really nice work and get things done now let's go and get all that loot baby well that's what i'm about and if i hit the touchpad you guys and gals can see that there is also the whole kind of like mini map that we can pull up and just kind of see a little bit of an overview of the location that you're in there are dungeons that you can adventure to as well like the opportunities are freaking endless with this game yo and check this out i don't know if y'all noticed uh some of our characters actually have the ability to level up like value that's what that little plus sign is in the top left hand corner they have a level up awaiting so we can actually level up our characters and add various skills and just make them more powerful so i'll definitely take a bit of a level up there and another one and then i also believe that Lindsay has a level up awaiting her as well so Let's go ahead and do that. And you can see some of the various abilities that she does gain, which is freaking sick, dude. Beautiful. And all right. Let's just say, hey, we're pretty done with that location. Let's get back to heading over to that bandit camp, shall we? And all right, here we are back on the overworld map. And let's go and explore our way to this bandit camp where the going is going to definitely get interesting. And we have arrived at Thorn Ford. Where the battle to determine the Baronhood will begin. All right. We're in. It does not appear to be too big of a location so far I will from surveying it. Why don't we go and switch back over to Star? I lead I'm the charge. I'm the pointiness of the triangle, baby. We're going to keep on following this road. Oh, and you got to watch out for traps. Luckily, we do have Lindsay who's really good at dispatching traps. Thanks to, again, some of the skills and whatnot that her character has. Oh, no, she's triggered the trip. She's triggered the trip. It's a wolf. That's no bueno. Luckily, <laughs> he gone. Okay, we got another trap over here. Can you do a better job disarming it this time? Pretty please with the cherry on top. Beautiful. I'm so proud of you, Lindsay. You killing it, girl. Oh, what's this little thing? A sturdy cart with weapon marks along the sides. What hath occurred? Oh, we found some herbs over here. I'll definitely go and pick those up. Those will come in handy a little bit later. Uh, oh, there she blows. The dark-haired bandit is kicking the ground irritably. When she sees you, she squares her shoulders and clenches her hand axes. Well, look who's here. Easy now. I'm not here to blanket the stolen lands with corpses. Lower your weapon and let's talk. Fine, I won't cut your throat for now, but I also won't kneel to some rest of upstart. Why would you try to make police? Are you just naturally kind or you've been listening to Svetlana? Do you not trust Svetlana? All right. Is it so hard to believe that I simply might not want unnecessary bloodshed? You know, life hasn't been so good to me. Kressler replies sullen. Why should I trust you? All right, here's my piece. The stag lord's been spending more time keeping an eye on the bottom of his glass than on what's going on around him. If you won't answer an insult from some rest off crook like Jamandi, then you're right. We chose the wrong leader. Go ahead, do whatever you're going to do. I won't stop you, but I won't help you either. Oh, and we got Svetlana's wedding ring. I'll go ahead and pass that off. And all right. You can rely on me. It's time for us to search for new clues. Oh, well, this random man over here appears to be a pretty good clue. What's up, my dude? Why don't we do the... I'm glad I could help. He appears to have been captured. Mutters a bit. Oh, these times be surprised to meet an honest man. as is as, as mantic as a vegetable stall. Uh -huh. And okay, this guy's actually going to head back into Oleg's trading post, which is going to be pretty cool. So we should be able to see him back there and now he wants us to actually find the temple of the elk i'll definitely pick up those goods and oh pick up all of those dang there's so much loot around these parts bro i will take it and why don't we exit the stage left for the time being and we can actually see an interesting little event that's popped up to the north over here a older hut that the stag lord has some interest in Let's go back to these crossroads and continue making our way over there. Ooh, what is this location that's popped up? An old oak. Eh, first off, I can't even cross the river right there for the time being, so I will pass. I will continue exploring around the river, though. Resting would be nice. And it appears that my peeps want to rest. So we'll go ahead and actually pull up that rest icon that I was talking about over here. That's what the rations were for that I was picking up earlier is that it allows us to actually like, you know, take part in this. And it's pretty cool because you can actually assign different roles when you rest to different characters, for example. And these all kind of like play in different parts that help you kind of make sure your camp doesn't get attacked, help you cook up like food, help you actually get some rations from hunting, which I am going to assign someone to hunt uh the whatchamacall my barbarian 
I reckon she's gonna be a pretty good hunter. And from there, anyone that I want to kind of stealthify our place? Yeah, Lindsay, hop on the stealthitude, girl. And all right, we got a roll for everybody. Let's, uh, let's begin resting, shall we? And then we can actually skip over the time. I wonder too. You can hear conversations going on between party members too to continue giving some of that backstory. Let's go. We found the food for six rations. We also, through a special roll of one of the characters, we actually have a maintain armor ability, which just made us, uh, whatchamacall, actually is gonna help us in our next combat. It'll give us a buff to all of our armors, which is pretty freaking sick. And let's go and check out what's up at the hut. Mm -mm. I imagine there might be a tussle in here. Will we find the elusive stag lord? Time will tell. And alrighty, y'all, after exploring that abandoned hut, I did actually learn of a temple down here to the south that's gonna be pretty helpful in our quest. So I'm trying to venture. Oh, we got a random encounter. Will we be able to avoid them? Yeah, no, no avoiding there. Straight up, bro. We're going to battle! Oh, it's a mage. Hey, stop right there. Yeah. How about no? What is this Technic League? What are we going to do? No. No. You guys are not going to capture me. We're going to battle. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. I am definitely a little bit terrified by what might happen. So without further ado, let's just go with the unpause technique and see how this goes. If things start to get out of hand, these, these are some tough cookies. They'll, okay, never mind. Luckily, we're able to like absolutely get some big hits on them. There's summoning wolves. No, don't summon wolves. These guys are like, okay, the, the good news is, is they're like primarily summoners or something like that. Beautiful. Oh no, he dipped. That's not nice. I'll take it though. And they want us to follow Kalana's trail. I will see this hmm. through. Let I'm us tempted. Not hesitate. Not gonna lie. And now here's another cool thing that does happen is sometimes you're actually faced with these kind of decisions over here that do branch off into kind of various areas. So for example, she has disappeared, but we pick up on her trail. Then you're kind of given some options on what you try to do. So, you know, we try to understand what kind of spell she used to get away and where she could have went. We try to find anyone who could have seen these people or without searching for other ways to simplify, we follow the trail of the league. So why don't we try to use some knowledge over there? And that backfired horrifically. So why don't we try to use some knowledge of the world? And that backfired horrifically too. So I imagine that we oh did come across their encampment and now on the map due to our choices we have actually revealed the technical league encampment over there so we could follow our way into there and we have like so many just like we got just so many different adventures to make our ways into all of which have their own varying parts of loot just the varying stories that they do unfold and let's go and check out this temple of the elk and uh see what's awaiting us shall we all right and here we are, and we have found the trail. But there are dangerous beasts ahead. Oh, ho, ho, dangerous my middle name, baby. Let's get to it. Let's see what could possibly go wrong. So let's go and check this out, which is going to... Oh, mama, we got to fight giant frogs. Well, let's hope for the best, baby. And why don't we actually utilize some of Lindsay's powers over here? I do like that daze attack she had, but we can actually see a few new things that she does have, like hideous laughter and stuff like that. Uh, so let's see how combat does unfold and so far these frogs ain't a match for us, bro We hitting it big now. What in tardation? Is this thing in the middle also? Let's go back to our main character What is this the muddy water gives off a strange nauseating smell because we got to get to the bottom of what in tarnation went on here Because it's gonna be such an important step for us getting into the stag king. Oh my god What is that a bear like treant? Oh Lord, uh, What's that? this is going to require some good stuff. Why don't we switch up our tactics to actually fighting defensively? So this fighting defensively thing actually does give us a bit of a penalty on our attacks, but does help us kind of dodge the attacks that the enemy tosses our way, which is definitely nice. So I, I really want to think out the strategy a little bit 
before we kind of dive into things here we have her charge ability that we're actually going to go ahead and use a few of our characters have this charge ability that we should be able to utilize actually i mean i do too but i think i'm a little bit too close to utilize it so Lindsay, definitely want you utilizing that daze i can't daze him dang it i have been mistaken so i'll just keep Lindsay on standby since she does like i'll just let her do her normal attacks but i'm gonna be ready to use some healing with her because that is where she does kind of come in extra handy amiri 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 why don't we oh no let's pause that back uh she does have that lethal stance and power attack going for her right now yeah i'll just keep it with that try to get some major damage output from you and then jaythal yeah why don't we get mm, let's inflict some light wounds shall we over here on the bear like treant and let's see how this goes this is gonna be a big one. Oh yeah i was about to say he's not fighting back he is most definitely fighting back luckily oh it's going okay he's doing some decent damage but he goes down and you can see my character in the top left hand corner did take a bit of damage there luckily thanks to our leveling and stuff we have kind of gotten a bit better at dealing with that stuff so why don't we i'm gonna show you guys that healing that i was talking about actually use her healing here even after the battle we can use that cure light wounds and we'll use it on my guy right over here where are you starter there you are Boop. and literally he'll get healed up look at that health in the top left hand corner boom just went up and then if everyone's ever hurt, I actually like using Harim's attack, not attack, but ability here. It actually has to channel positive energy and heal all the living or all the living peoples in our party within this circle, which is pretty freaking sick. But okie dokie. Oh, who is this? Tristan. A young man. Severely wounded. My name is Tristian. I'm a priest of merciful Saren Ray. Another moment. Dang, we just saved this dude's life. Talk about people I'd be just as happy not seeing for the next thousand years. I have never spoken to Nim. I am a priest of Sam. I was investigating this bomb. And check it out. After chatting him up a little bit, we, uh, to think about oh. request after you deal with the beasts. I just asked Please, him. Allow me to catch my... I will wait if he you. wanted to join my party. And he said he'll think about it. But he does want us to actually defeat these beasts first. Dang, bro. I was excited. I'm like, oh, he's going to join us. He'll think about it, though. So I think when we get this done, he'll actually be someone who will head back to the outpost and we can actually start utilizing as a member of our team, which will be pretty freaking cool. So can we go into that? No. Okay, so where are the rest of the beasts? They're probably... Uh, they got to be on the other side of this, right? I feel like that's really the only way we have left to go. Yeah! Oh, those are some big beasts! Let's hope this goes a little bit better. They are inflicting some solid damage, but we got good armor, we got good weapons, we got levels, and we got doom! Coming to these Wolf's V. And we're doing a pretty good job of dodging them. So are they, though, but that's okie dokie. Come on, give me one more hit, give me one more hit. Oh my god, that's a tough cookie. But thanks to the support from Lindsay in the back, we're good to go, baby. So, okay. We got rid of the ones to the bottom. So I think there might be a few more enemies potentially in this top area. And then this temple should be cleared. That would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, just a little bit of a bore. Oh, it's a one-off, bro. This thing does not stand a chance at living. Sayonara, baby. Okay, he has not gone sayonara quite yet. Beautiful. And sayonara. He has gone. And all right, we head back. We're like, hey, the dudes are dead. Praised be Saren Ray. And now, if my knowledge will he serves, join me? The fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only. Oh, awesome! And the fog's gonna clear out. That's exactly what we needed. Perhaps somewhere more hostile. Are you ready to travel with me now? You've saved my life. Yes, and, and we've got someone alas, new joining us. Let's go. I will travel to the trading post. I hope to be able to repay. And so he's going back to that trading post that we started things off at, and. Ho oh, ho ho. We're good to go. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for our adventures for today as I will continue making my way towards claiming this kingdom as mine and ruling over it with not an iron fist. I'll be, it'll be a cool fist. Pinky promise, I swear. But uh, yeah, with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Make sure to enter that link in the top of the description to get Pathfinder King Mimic, which is now available for Xbox One and a PS4 with some incredible features as we did showcase on top of the whole like kingdom management system that we are working our way towards, which is truly such a unique thing on console. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. 
and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.